prophetess Kabile, 7750 media. I'm going to start with insights or notes that I made on the 12th of September 2024. It was the 9th of Elo. And it was 1937. That was the time. Independence Day in Eswatini is alternatively called Somlolo Day. I did say that with proper Masonic precision, the timing of the Tabombeki promise and commitment to intervene in Eswatini even undermines the vision of the very father of the people of Eswatini, who admonished them as according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. As far as God is concerned, all things are spiritual. It also undermines the legacy of His Majesty King Sobuza II, who is known for having encouraged the people of Eswatini to think for themselves. I get to the 13th of September 2024, the 10th of Elul 5784. The Lord woke me up just before 4 a.m. this morning. I was in prayer and worship a short while, and the Lord was reminding me of certain prompts and triggers around Lambigiza and Ngoyoyo Palace. I did not, pardon me, I did more prayer and intercession, and the Lord kept saying, he will not share his glory with a man. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8 says, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to carved images. Verse 9 says, Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. I then went back to sleep after an episode of painful intercession. I had the weirdest dream ever. In the dream, I was laying on a bed with a YouTuber by the name of Murad Merali, but not in any crude kind of way. We were like in a communal dormitory type of setup, but he was confiding something to me that I could not remember when I woke up. But as we sat there talking, my mother arrived with my two eldest sisters, Nozipo and Pumzile. I, try, I tried to introduce him to my family. So I said to him, this is my family. But my mother was so annoyed and my sisters Nozipo and Pumzile both turned away as I was saying, this is my friend. I then pointed at a bed on the other side of the room and I said, there is his bed, he doesn't sleep here in my bed, we're just talking. They were having none of that. The scene changed and I was now in a different part of the dormitory with ladies who were all younger than me, like about the same age as he is. And all of them were black. I had to fight, I had a fight with one of them because she had taken my bed and had put all kinds of stuffed toys on it. The one thing I have learned through years and years of dreams is that no matter how weird a dream is, God is always communicating, especially when he is working on something. Now, my sister's names, Nozipo means lady of gifts, and Pumzile means the one who brings rest. The other thing is that though I often dream of myself in all kinds of settings with all kinds of people, 
The scenarios have nothing to do with me, but rather the lives of the other people. Like now, I hear the voice of the Holy Spirit saying, sex diary explosion. I won't even try to second guess what the Lord means. I just know he means what he says. Murad Merali is probably just a trigger, though I'm not sure for what. Once in a while, I watch his updates on the British Royals because I have dreamt of them so often. And obviously I have realized that the reason why I dreamt of them in times past was because the woes that were coming to them pointing at their future. It is all unraveling itself now. I have also done much research on Murad Mirali and found an article about him in indie100.com titled, Who is Murad Mirali and why has everyone started speaking about him? I don't want to go into the details of the article except to say that it details a leak of some explicit content and some extreme fetish of racial slurs and derogatory comments made during sex play. The article was published on the 8th of November, 2022. Morad was 26 years old at the time. So I see now what the theme is. And it is obviously racism and racial divisions as well as the theme of some strange sex. This theme was present in the public spat between Charlene Smith and Tabombeki as regards assertions she had made about black men and the spread of HIV and AIDS. I will not make any comments about racism or tribalism and such divisions at this point, except to point out that the flag of the kingdom of Eswatini has a Nguni shield done in black and white as a symbol that ebony and ivory or black and white can live together in harmony. That was the vision of King Sobuza II. Jesus Christ is not a racist or a tribalist. And the racial and tribal stereotypes are the agenda of the Antichrist. This is why I found myself married to a man who has since told me that Swazi women don't say anything to men. I guess because women from Lesotho are sexually empowered and they are very vocal about their own plans, purposes, and agendas. Indeed, he would say that Swazi women are disempowered in comparison. This takes me very nicely into the next subject, and that is the Office of Queenship. I'm going to leave this here for now. Thank you for listening.